Hi guys, welcome back to BlackBronx.com. Today I'm going to show you, on how to animate a still photo in After Effects. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new comp by hit Ctrl Shift and C for shortcut. Here I renamed the comp as Master. And set the resolution size for comp to 1080 by 1920 for mobile vertical friendly. For duration I set to 4 second only and plan to make loop animation for this tutorial. Here I got still photo and I'm directly drop into my comp. To match the image with the comp is very simple, just select the image layer and right click, go to transform and select fit to comp height. Now the image looks perfect match with comp size. Next, let's pre-comp for this image layer by hit Ctrl, Shift and C for shortcut. I renamed this pre-comp as Base01 to make my workflow more tidy. Make sure you select, move all attributes into the new composition, and hit OK. Let's duplicate this comp and start animate the smoke. I hit Ctrl plus D for shortcut. To animate the smoke, I will use Puppet Tool to animate it. This is very important step which is you need to create pinpoint for each spot that you want to animate. Doesn't matter how many pin you used but you need to make sure it not really far from each other and not too very close. Alright we done to set points at the beginning frame. Let's go to the end frame and start animate the pin position. Don't worry if the the pin animation is affecting at unnecessary area, later we will fix it. Now you can see the basic smoke animation here but it also affect the other area. Don't worry, let's fix it. First, let's duplicate the original comp by hit Ctrl plus D. Then move the layer to the top. I change the animation comp layer to red color so that easy for me to identify it. Next, I select the top layer and start masking for the area which I decide to exclude the animation. I'm using pen tool to mask the layer. We're done masking the exclude area for the animation. Now I need to feather the edge of masking area to make it soft and blend together with animation layer. Select the top layer and hit M twice to reveal the masking setting. I increase the value for feather to 20 pixels. There have another option to feather the edge for the masking area. I'm going back to pen tool icon here. Then I click the pen icon and hold it until it reveal hidden other tools. Here you can see mask feather tool or hit G for shortcut. I click the mask boundary and drag it outside to feather the edge. Now perfect. Everything here look good right now except this area, got some little bit issue. Never mind let's fix it. First, I select the mask layer, and then I extend the mask to cover the problem area. Now we good to go. The animation look perfect here. This time let's make the animation looping. First, we need to go middle of the entire duration which is 2 seconds. Next let's create marker for our indicator. Select the animation layer first, then right click on it and go to marker and select add marker. 
you can see the marker icon is appearing here now, it become indicator for the middle of layer duration. Next, let's duplicate the animation layer and then we need to set the opacity. I'm select the layer and hit T to reveal the opacity setting. I set keyframe for opacity at the middle of duration at 100%. And then I set keyframe opacity at 0% at beginning and also at the end of timeline. Now perfect. Now let's move the layer and offset it backward until the middle marker reach at the end of the timeline. Right now I duplicate again the layer and then I move the layer and offset it forward until the middle marker reach at the beginning of the timeline. Everything look perfect now. Here you can see the smoke animation is perfectly looped. Let's do final touch up. I would to add some dust falling from the sky. First we need to create solid layer by hit control plus Y. I rename the layer as dust and other I just set as default. Next, let's apply CC snowfall from preset to the solid layer. I change the layer color to yellow, easy to me indicate the layer. For the last part, we need to tune the CC snowfall setting. Set the size to 7. Set the variation percent to 100. Scene depth set to 8000. Wind set to 100. Set variation percent set to 40. For the last one is uncheck the composite with box. Now you can see the dust perfectly awesome. Let's make it the dust animation loop. We will do the same process like we did before for the smoke animation loop. Here I hit T to reveal the opacity setting and then I set keyframe 100% opacity for middle duration. Then I set 0% opacity for the beginning and ending of the timeline. Next, let's duplicate the animation layer and then offset it forward half of its duration. After that, I duplicate it again and then I offset the layer backward half of duration at the beginning of the timeline. So here the final result for this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell down there to get latest update. We'll see until next time.